I've been watching deadlift videos. <sighs> I can't tell if I'm getting better or not. Maybe in a little way. Maybe not. If I look back to the first few days of this, it's quite a bit better, but I'm just so unsatisfied. I worked up to 225 today. Actually, I just did two warm-up sets with 135, and then I did three sets of five with 225. And I saw something in a video this guy was saying that he shows his clients how to set up for the deadlift from the bottom. And so today, I kind of wanted to do that. That's one of the reasons I did sets of five with 225. I wanted to set up from the top, you know, do a single, and then kind of reset when I put the weight down and go again from the bottom. And some of these actually don't look too bad, and some of them are pretty bad. So... I think a lot of that comes down to just me not really being super in the moment. I think it comes down to me, you know, forgetting my checklist of what am I doing exactly, where my positioning's at, and also just like not really feeling my body. There were a few times I noticed, like, okay. Uh, armpits tight, sure. Tension in my posterior chain, sure. And then once I start pulling, I realize, like, oh, I didn't even, like, extend my back. I didn't even straighten out my back. My back is starting from a nearly curved position. Like, what's up with that? And that's a problem. That's something I gotta work on. I think I might take a few days and just try to get a deadlift that feels good, not think so much about the position, but just really feel it, if that makes sense. I mean, I think it, it does make sense. It's just like, is that actually what's going to help me? I don't know. But it's worth a try. So if I'm not satisfied with it, try something else. If it looks good and I'm satisfied with it, then best of both worlds, I win. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll find out in the coming days. Thank you for watching.